Hello, 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 and welcome back to another trek through the dungeon. Uh, this time I'm going to be bringing you a, a video not in my usual style. I expected to make this a single massive run, then I post it all at once. So let's do a human. Humans are not good. Humans are, in fact, rather bad. They're never going to be the worst race in the game, but, uh... What should I call them? Bob. They're never going to be the worst race in the game because there are straight up bad races and they're not, these guys aren't bad. But the human shtick is that he has no advantages. He is not above average at anything. Now, he is also not below average at anything, which, you know, sounds like that should counterbalance it, right? Jack of all trades, master of none. That's, that's a, a trope that has been a trope for all time. Unfortunately, in Dungeon Crawl, I would argue that's not good enough. Dungeon Crawl doesn't punish you for not being good, your character, for not being good in multiple areas. It punishes you for not being good enough in one area. And I'll give you a good example. Say that I had a plus five Conjurations talent, but I had no ability in melee whatsoever. I, uh, my fighting had a minus one aptitude, my... Oh my god, I didn't kill you? I thought you were dead. My fighting had a minus one aptitude, my, uh... My weapon skill for each weapon was uh, at minus one or minus two. Uh, my starting HP pool was a little bit low. All these downsides. I could still become a really good conjurator and use my high talents with conjuration to survive. It would help me kill things, and I would be okay. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna... It's better than being unarmed, right? Until we have a weapon. Um, that's... It is for this reason specifically that you will notice most people will, will focus train... Including myself, will focus train one or two schools to make it rise rapidly, rather than worrying about evenly training seven or eight different schools. Of, uh... Of skills. Skill schools. So... With that background, it should be clear why I don't value the fact that humans can become good at everything eventually at an okay rate, compared to how much I would value becoming super good at something right away. Sure, maybe in the post-end game where infinite experience is available, it's going to be marginally more convenient. But you know something? If I make it that far, odds are good I, I already have my kit in place to survive anything anyway, everything anyway. So, no big deal. No real benefit. So yeah, it is for that reason that I would say the humans' is clever shtick of being uh, even Stevens, master, jack of all trades, master of none, is in fact totally useless from a I want to win the game, what combo should I play perspective. Now that said, from the perspective of somebody who has won the game more than 25 times, yeah, try something new. Or try, uh, try a a new challenge on an old build, because I'm actually just running, as you guys can probably tell, my classic stable bu staple build of, uh, of a con- of a, a mage, fire mage. I should have taken Blink, I did not. I really hope I get the chance to, to learn that before I need it. I've got Elven Leather, which is nice. Uh, Elven Leather should have no spellcasting penalty, even with no training of armor. I don't have Blink yet, but I do have uh, Mephitic. Ooh, Mephitic could prove useful here. How, how uncastable is it? 34? Okay, well, putting my life on the line, so please go off. It went off, but I already lost all my mana, so we're just running away now. I'm just straight up running away. I may regret this decision later, but I'm actually going to ignore the Okuwaru altar on the logic that the time it would take for me to get his basic abilities, I would no longer be looking for his basic abilities. Whatever you do, do not let him unbefit it. You might want to put a little bit of distance just in case he comes after me with that staff. Where is he? I could have sworn he was right there. Okay, well, I'm at full, and he is still at half. 
Because mana regen- I don't know if mana regenerates faster numerically or if it's just that you have a larger health pool than mana pool, but whatever the reason. I'm not worried about him regenerating more health than I regenerate mana. I just want his cloak so badly, and he's almost dead. And with all this confusion, he could even hit himself in the face. That would be awesome. There we go, we got him. Took a long time, but we did get him. Wield that cloak, take his staff. I don't see myself using it, but... Actually, maybe I should wield it. There's a small chance of it berserking my enemy or healing my enemy or something horrible like that. But a far greater chance of it actually providing the damage buff I need early game. And if I'm using a staff, I'm clearly not... Well, no, no, it's just not... It's just not rock Uh, thanks, no thanks. I don't have blink. I don't have a way of breaking up uh, melee. And I don't have any means of curing out of... I might have a means of curing. I should test my, my stuff now. Uh, okay, that's invisibility. That's still actually potentially really useful. Still really po useful, potentially. Uh, don't waste your last few mana on magic darts. Waste it on a failed attempt to mephitic cloud. Notice that I specifically moved him over this trap before I engaged. Give myself every possible advantage. I do have blink now, so let's just... <clears throat> I mean, I do have access to blink, so let's secure that. And that'll put me in good shape. And definitely take these nets. So I'm picking up a lot of junk as I go, you might notice. Uh, it's because I don't know what it's going to take to survive the early game, and whatever I can do to give myself an advantage is a good idea. I'm actually going to train throwing a little bit, on the logic that it'll help with the nets and the darts, and that's that's not a bad idea. I'll later on pick up a javelin, I'm sure, or something else that I can use to add to my, my damage output. And any damage I can deal without having to waste my precious mana is, is, is good by me. Uh, do I have the ability to... Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, I really, really, really love the opening wizard book. It's funny, too, because I remember a time where I genuinely thought that uh, Conjure Flame was pretty useless. Now, I can't imagine how you could play a wizard without it. Actually, I can, because I remember how I did it. What I used to do was say, if you don't get uh, Isekundarun's Mystic Blast or some other Tier 4 spell uh, by luck before the lair, you're probably going to lose. Um, it's possible to whittle away in the lair with Mephitic Cloud plus Darts plus Luck plus Stair Dancing for a little while, but, but there's typically a, f a few floors where you're waiting for your god gift to kick in and it hasn't kicked in yet. I actually want them in the narrow hallway before I really go at it. That way I can do this. Mephitic Cloud plus Condor Flame should get net yep, it did net me a kill, and the Zapped Wand of Cold, which I can now claim for myself while doing this. And by the way, the me putting on throwing, I'm justifying it in this game as me trying to make use of the human ability to be able to try everything. However, you and I should both know, from having watched me play, that I tend to multi-school things all the time. This isn't a uniquely human trait. Having a couple schools that are zero or better is pretty normal. Hell, normally I'm, I'm training a plus something school, which is how I justify my other one be not being quite as plus. And yet, Crawl has seen fit to not send Sigmund, or better, more, more horrifying Grinder, or any of the typical early game menaces at me, and I haven't miscast Mephitic Cloud in a critical position either. Truth be told, this game is going very well. Enough that if there was a Dungeon Master across the table from me, I would be checking his expression for signs of maniac cackling. Mephitic Cloud actually, yep, there you go. Mephitic Cloud regularly causes ogres to hit themselves with their giant clubs. Their HP total does not accommodate such a strike, so they kill themselves. A lot. If you can Mephitic an ogre, even with no further setup, there's a good chance you'll kill him. Just, you know, stand very clear of him, because a 
confused, stumbling, bumbling ogre is still quite capable of killing you if it happens to hit. Uh, shout once and then turn the corner. Got the confuse off. Eat up the sultanas since they just take up space in your inventory. I actually once stopped to do the math on sultanas to figure out if they actually gave you any nutrition, or if all the nutrition that you gained was lost in the turns it took you to eat them. Turns out they do give you nutrition, like a net gain, and and, and a reasonable amount, but it's so, so irritating to have to eat eight of them and get so little out of them that I basically don't consider them food. I consider them a, a nuisance that takes up space in my bag. Okay, lots of kills, lots of nom noms, lots of nom noms. Kill the snake. Conjuration has been focus trained up to six, and that is a good number. I may not be able to do everything, but or may not be able to train everything at once or get anything up fast, but I can focus train one school and make it respectable. Kind of nullifying the jack of all trades benefit that human is supposed to stand for, but what can you do? Ooh. Sewer. I hope it's not rusted, I just found it. Okay, good. Not an aggressive start, I should be okay here. Anything else? I'm gonna pop its head out. Let's take all these darts of frost. Ooh, blow gun, I blow now. This is what I was waiting for, because now, with a blow gun, I am capable of quivering bolts of poison and benefiting from my throwing ability. I do not know why I felt the need to burst into sing song, but I did. Oh well, woe is me, and such. Oh, beautiful. Stay there. Here, let me get out a dagger so I can join you in the, the ruckus. E I G E E I C W. Put my weapons on the familiar letterings. I assumed that the scroll I picked up in the sewer would be beneficial. It was not. But I am just going down the list and 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 uh, memorize and test testing out various scrolls now. Okay, we good, we good, and uh, let's ID something. What? Anything? I don't care. Something. I have a lot of potions that need IDing, so let's go with them. R H P R H R R H C. Okay. Any jewelry? Should have saved the last ID scroll for a jewelry. My bad. Ooh. Go away. Thank you. I actually don't have C invisible. I don't have any. <laughs> wow, there are literally no mutations on that list. I don't think I've ever seen that before. There's the guy who blinked away. Shout once. Wait, wait. Okay, he's not coming. You're coming. Drop a fire. Let Goliath walk through a couple of fires before I get brave enough to. Fuck him up. I don't have the mana for this. Now I have the mana for anything. Shout. Where's the phantom? God damn phantom, stop linking my lawnmower. You're not gonna step in? Oh, come on into the fire, human. It's wonderful. Can I just call you a human? Whoops! That's the pot calling the kettle pot. Black. Whatever. Okay. Uh, that should be the whole floor, I think. I seem to recall a floor that was more fragmented, but I don't know, it might be my imagination. Okay, down a floor. Uh, this is where I wish I had had the ID scroll. And y'all may be familiar with my maxim, never wear an unID'd scroll, or sorry, unID'd amulet. There's a reason for it. 
If it's a stasis amulet, it'll prevent the teleport you desperately needed, or the blink you desperately thought you needed. If it's a uh, inaccuracy scroll, it won't even t er, thing. It won't even tell you, and then you'll just suffer. Try this all and see what it is. Cursed minus three. Very very bad for my spell casting. Just remove it and drop it. And hey, that was a double meaning. That w that allowed me to use a uh, thing. Yeah, so I just ate a ration because I was hungry. Uh, truth be told, that was a, obviously a waste of food. I just did not feel like dealing with hunger right now. Strength of 8. I kind of wanted to go up to 9 or 10. But given that I'm playing a human and their their level up skill is randomized to so that it could be any of the three at all uh, points of leveling up, I'm probably not going to. Let us, however, definitely drop the carrion, the poison, and half the bread rations. Barring inordinately bad luck, I should be able to pick up... Uh, Alright, there won't be any slimes eating it, and I'll come back for it when I need it. And there we go. Well, one of you guys is going to suffer. Let's see. And I got a dex. So yeah, so... If I can hit... So what I'm hoping is that my randomized buffs will occasionally give me strength. That will give me the plus two that I really want to at my endgame. Uh, if that doesn't happen by the time I hit level 15-ish, then I'll start thinking about wasting my precious uh, one, up, one skill ups on something as useless as strength. Which is only useful for carrying capacity, which is only useful to me because I like doing it a lot. Um. Okay, I have enough for six fires. That should be enough to win all of this. All I need to do is position things so that they step in fires a lot. Okay, that's almost all of that's all of them. Excellent, very happy with that. So I do have a remove curse. Cool, go nuts, kill everything. Don't care. Otherwise, I would have had to stop and consider what I'm wearing and what I can remove, and if it's critical. In particular, though, I think this is a good move. Let's drop my weapons. I won't need a dagger, hopefully, to deal with what's here. And getting my... Oh, God. Is the blowgun... Okay, yeah. Getting the blowgun and or the weapon uh, cursed means I can't switch them, which actually would force my hand in terms of... Oh, I never tried the staff. Oops. I have to do that later. Which actually would force my hand in terms of uh, what I chose to do. But now, I can pick these all up. I can discard the cursed dwarven dagger. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, cool. And there we go. No curse problems. Whoa, what the hell? That was a massive trap. You are the same weird rune staff that I already have. Good. And, wouldn't you know it, it was cursed. Rendering all of the energy I just put into not letting that happen completely useless. Generally, I am leery of test drinking potions that were found inside of a tomb. I have found a disproportionate number of them to be bad for my health. So let us ID the amulet first. It was in accuracy. This is why we never wear amulets we haven't ID'd. A murky white... Oh my god, those were cure mutations? Okay, I kind of wish I hadn't burned this ID scroll, because I no longer fear test quaffing potions. I have enough uh, cure mutations to last me presumably most of the game. I guess. 
Okay, let's wait out the poison before leaving, and this time we really do need to eat something. Let's have a lemon and see if we can't hold out for some corpsey food. But yeah, okay, so, uh, holy cow, that's, uh, that's a hell of a find. Let's assume this is a recharge. It is not. So, test quaff everything that's left. And that was mutation. Minus 10% MP with mutation resistance. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to let these mutations stand, to be completely honest with you. Uh, the, the, hang on to the, po the potions until we find the ecumenical temple. We'll stick them there. That's a good spot for them. But yeah, the penalty, uh, of a small percentage loss to my max MP is going to come out to about 4 MP. That's not a huge deal. Actually. Not a huge deal at all. Um, the benefit of... Ooh, that's bad, actually. Uh, yeah, we're going to just remove curse here. The benefit, potentially, however, is enormous if it prevents me from getting another mutation, especially before I had a have another source of resistance to mutations available to me. So... I'm gonna hang on to that and see what happens, and 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 we'll wing it with these mutations in place. This is gonna be the the recharge for sure, so let's go with that on the wand of cold. Still need to ID the new one. It's not trying that on this guy. Paralysis, free stabs. Oh, I'm starving. Eat a pear because boom. Nom noms. Yummy yummy centaur. Coo. Alrighty. Well, not gonna lie to you guys. I'm uh I'm quite happy with the way that things are going. Gotta say, uh damn it. I gotta say, I'm kinda surprised just how well things are going. I mean, I guess there's no reason why playing a human has... It's not a negative. It's just that you lack the positives which I'm used to having of, you know, actually being <laughs> good at something. But it's not that there's an inherent downside. It's not like humans have a minus to survival in the dungeon. They just don't have any benefits. And if you ignore the, the lack of... Oh, fuck me, it's Pike Hell. Cloud of confusion, back the fuck off and wait. No, don't don't self-confuse. Another cloud of confusion, back the fuck off and wait. Drop a fire. Cloud of confusion, and back the fuck off and wait. And he's dead. That wasn't so hard. But yeah, if you uh if you realize that there aren't actually any negatives, you're not taking a penalty for being a human, you're just not getting benefits, and then Further to that, realize that mm, AC of 8 versus AC of 8. Okay, then screw the leather. Technically, the base armor is still more useful, but who cares? Uh, and really, when I play Crawl, I'm not requiring... I'm not requiring the... Required. I don't need all of the buffs that my character gets. I, I like more, certainly. But there are some characters of mine that are OP combinations that win handily. So give a little bit of luck to a human, and uh, they'll be okay. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to be good, because an okay character isn't a great character, it could have been a great character, and it's not like they get any late-game benefits that others don't. They're not going to be permanently flying like Tengu. They're not going to be... Uh, ooh, what the hell is this? Interesting. They're not going to be permanently flying like Tengu. They're not going to be, uh, I guess, I'm trying to think what, they're not going to be, Draco well, Draconians can't wear half the armors. Um, high Elves have higher MP totals, I guess, but a human is going to hit a max MP total for sure. They're not going to have cool uh, mutation sets like Demon Spawn while maintaining the, uh, the zero zero aptitude that, that, that demons spawn get. 
They're not going to be swift like Spriggans, but then again, they're going to have more health than Spriggans, so I guess there's a difference. Yeah, the more I talk, the more I realize I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, fuck me, that's a drain. That's a drain. Get me out of here. I don't have the mana totals to actually magic dart yet. Not if I want to keep the flame walls up. I do have ordinary non-magical darts. Those are like darts too, right? Ah! ID scrolls and the temple. Go to the temple. I don't care. We will deal with the fallout of this decision later. And that's a cool looking amulet too, so we need to try that as well. It looks like every enemy that's going to crowd me afterwards is mephiticable. And if it's mephiticable, it's basically not an enemy. It's a... It's a speed bump. Speed bump full of VXP. Oh, come on. How are you not going to give me food, you goddamn centaur assholes? Okay, drop all the cure mutation potions right now. We'll worry about those later. The temple has been corrupted by Lugonu. Mercifully, the only ones I'm actually interested in, uh, Sif, Muna, and Vehumet, are available. And I'm going with Vehumet, because, fuck me, I feel like it. I should probably eat a ration. Just because I'm about to face some fights, and ration right now is cheap. Ration later costs me a turn. Eh, won't you know it, I got out of that without actually having to fight anything. I was not expecting such an easy exit. Let's ID some of these wands. Fireball. Frost. Okay, that's all of them. I'm trying to drop a f conjured flame. Mephitic. And then we're just going to run away because he's invisible and... Oh, looks like I'm more experienced, so maybe, maybe that worked. That thing just ate the potions of water or poison, I can't tell which, so no biggie. Alright, there's the deep croak we heard. Die to an arrow trap, and like Aerosmith, we are fine. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Keep going. Kill things. Keep going. You can rock my world, but I will rock yours harder. Ooh, Looney Dagger. Unfortunately for me, I... I like my flame whip. I'm not actually stabbing things. Did you just step into a fire? What are you, high? <sighs> it's a good thing I dropped those cum- Oh no, the fire didn't last very long is what it is. Oh, that was a buckler. Go to the buck, please. Grab the buck. None of these are worth enchanting armors on, so I'm going to save the enchant armor scroll I just picked up and drop a confuse to stymie my enemies' progress. Okay, so Conjurations has hit 11. We're now, I am now willing to branch out to Fire and Poison. In no particular order. Uh, I just want to buff my Mephitic Cloud and my Conjure Flame. Truthfully, I should have done that a little sooner, probably, but whatever. Shooting things as I go, because shooting things is fun. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and risk the self mephitic. Just because of how nice it will be if I can hold them at the door. There's a lot of them, and only one of me. Put a flame on the door, hold the door even stronger. Get in a really deep one. Okay, and now we need to start running. Unfortunately, our mana total is just too low to stand my ground any longer. And I am not shooting a black kid, so standing my ground is not going to be okay. Too soon? Not funny? Sorry, I, I, I shouldn't have said that. That was, that was mean and offensive. Also, it's a real tragedy, and it's kind of bullshit to make fun of tragedy, make light of tragedies. Then again, I am exactly the kind of Marubo that would make a 9-11 joke, so there you go. Uh, curing, thank god. I was red poisoned, that wasn't gonna be, that wasn't gonna be pretty no matter how it went. 
Okay, uh, let's see what else we let get out and see if we can't stem the flow. You are subdued. Give me my blowgun to finish you at at appropriate levels of mana usage. Yeah, how are you not confused yet? God damn it, get confused. Alright, we gotcha. I am actually starving. Is there any food there? There is food there. Eat it. Okay, not starving anymore. Okay. So, not gonna lie to you. Ah, shit! Okay, gonna lie to you, gonna lie to you very much. God damn it. Okay, not gonna lie to you. I was expecting a much, much more vicious onslaught because when you let a pack of kobolds that you had cornered uh, leak out onto the floor, there's no saying just how many big, strong enemies you're gonna have to deal with. Plus, we knew for a fact that there was one orc, so put that all together. Nasty, nasty stuff. Uh, god damn it, I'm starving again. Am I, like, wearing something that increases my hungering? No? Just bad luck, I guess. Uh, let's ID the new jewelry. And test quaff the new potion. Incidentally, uh, there was nothing wrong with what we ID'd, so we should wear it. What did I just lose? Invisibility and a curing. Invisibility, I could give you shits about. Curing, on the other hand, ouch. Um, yeah, wearing stuff. Uh, sustenance, that'll help with hunger. Not that hunger really matters, but whatever. Take your ruined shit. Take your darts. Heal. What are we studying? Poison and fire. Yeah, forget those, please. Yeah, these are all reasonable. Uh, switch over to translocations, we'll get blinking up to reliable. Oh, you know what's making me so hungry? I haven't trained spellcasting, so my spell hunger is 100%. Now, hunger in this game, as I said before, does not matter. It's not going to kill you 5... No, not 5. It's not going to kill you 95% of the time. Uh, you're going to have more than enough permafood, unless you're playing a, a race that has specifically unique and interesting hunger mechanics. That said, it is annoying, and it is something that's going to drain your resources, and spellcasting has side benefits, including making every spell more castable, so, and giving me more spell levels so I can learn more spells. All of these said, and done, adds up to me wanting to learn spellcasting. And oh my fucking god, alright, you know what, I'm just going to run away from you. Running away. Give me a uh, ranged fire. Go. Uh, you two, I will run away from. You, I shall run away from as well. You two, I shall run away from. <sighs> yes, the early game threats that every character needs an answer to: the orcish priest, the orcish wizard, the centaur. I guess the ice beast. You don't need an answer to grinder or sigmund per se, or necessarily because run away is always a valid option with them and they're rare enough that you can burn permanent resources on it. I'm just going to let that Spriggan out and go inside his bakery. Now, drop fire on both sides of him and make him step into it. Boom. Now he's dead. Pinata is dead and you killed it. Uh, drop all the carrion. Drop... Okay, I didn't mean to drop seven bread rations, uh, five should have done the job just fine. So I've dropped at least nine rations at this point. The fact that I'm even considering hunger in any capacity is, is stupid. A wand of magic darts that will be useless past the mid-game, so get your money's worth early or you're never going to use it. Jelly's down, fat's down, gecko's down. Gecko, die! 
uh, drop of fire, and then mephitic past it. Drop of fire, then mephitic past it. Alrighty, I think that should have cleared him out. Okay, uh, back to the whip, please. Almost certainly this is a wand of chaos or randomness. We will try it out. Nope, it is confusion. Oh, actually, amnesia scrolls are going to be damn precious now, aren't they? Because I went with uh, Vehumet instead of with uh, Sif Muna, so there's no guarantee that I get hundreds and hundreds of them, or that I can learn and forget spells at will. Uh, test a dagger. Okay. Remove curse. Not yet. Drop the scroll. Remove curse. That's not this. That's cursed jewelry. Uh, enchant weapon. Perfect. That gets the job done. Thing is, I'm not convinced that this ruined weapon is actually a bad one. Okay, wow, uh... You know what? Fuck you guys, I'm killing the butterflies. Should be a non-zero chance every time you kill a butterfly for a rock to fall on your head. You know, bad luck. Oh, wow, I got burned by that self-mephitic. Let's not let it happen twice, shall we? We're also going to drop the eyeball flesh, and magic darts will never be preferential to frost cold, probably for me. Well, no, no, no. Well, I need to get rid of this paralysis. Also, all of these extra daggers I'm carrying with me. Let's just get rid of them. I mean, come on. Really? The dagger of freezing. You're going to use something else. Okay, perfect. Nor, nor, fire, kill, okay. Linking is almost down to acceptable levels of uncertainty. Four percent. You know what? Just leveling up spellcasting is probably going to do the rest of it. So let's finish spellcasting and then we'll switch over to damage power uh, power boosting again. Oh yeah, this is old Vehumet, so he's not going to... He isn't inundating me with new spells constantly, like new Vehumet does. Um, I'm actually going to preferentially give the enchants to my dagger, because in the unlikely event that I don't get new spells that I can actually use in a timely fashion, I can uh, potentially use stabbing uh, mephitic stabs to propel me through that portion of the game. And stabbing with a whip is decidedly an uh, ineffective tactic. I should already have a wizard's hat, but... Oh, and it's, and it's cursed on, so never mind. Remove curse is normally so common as to be completely non-precious. In this run, that has not been the case. It has been nearly mostly non-precious. Also, that strength 8 is kicking my ass right now. I really want a few more points in strength. But not too many. Okay, uh, this was a hidden door. Which makes me a little bit nervous what I might find if I keep going. Hill Giant Zombie is nothing to be afraid of. Not really. How rotted am I? One point? My only cure potion? Yeah, it's worth it. What's next? More. 
I have this growing fear that in the middle of all of this is going to be death. That was a cyclops. Do I have a tele scroll and a blink scroll and a fear scroll? Okay, good. So I have plenty of escapes. That's not death. That's not even kind of scary. That's an odd combination. Okay, that's more than an odd combination. That's me risking death walking on traps. Close the door and blink. Close the door and blink. And that should have gotten me well out of trouble. Goddamn fucking imps. Thank god Magic Dart is the most effective level 1 spell for Conjurators. I mean, it's not the highest damage, it doesn't transition particularly well, but it, it does what it needs to. It gets you through the early game and the mid game, if and, and you can lean on it for much of the mid game. It won't last you through to the end game, but if you haven't got anything better by then, your god sucks. Stand inside a fire, you will burn to death. Okay, we got him. We got the bastard. Uh, spell casting has already gone up to nine. I've not been paying attention. Let's put it back to what it needed to be. Nothing got corroded, thank god. Probably lost a good bit of loot. The slime was in the middle. He ate his way through all of the doors and came after me. That's what happened. Ah, well. What the hell. Floor's done. Next floor. The loot I lost is loot that I never knew I had, so we're okay. I need to be more careful with the self mephitics now that I don't actually have the means of fixing it myself. Like, in the unlikely event of a self mephitic hurting me, or affecting me and not my enemy, I can't cure out of it instantly. And the far more likely event of it affecting both of us, I'm probably going to be affected less less long than them because MR. But whatever. Oh, dyed leather. Hey, we got a kill. Excellent. Try your leather. It is cursed and useless and does not punish my spell casting, if only because my spells are so low level. Let me just do my best to kill you from here. Goddamn Shadow Punk. While I can see you, I'm going to continue shooting at you. It doesn't last very long, unfortunately, so we're just going to bail. Turn back on auto pickup. Okay. This is an irritating floor. Full of shit that I do not like. Oh, god damn, it is more full than even I realized. Well, a fire walk ought to help significantly. But this eyeball per paralyzing me could be the death of me if I'm not careful. So we're, we need to focus it first. It's down. Confuse you. Stab the one square that I think you were on. Confuse the rest of the hallway. And you're dead. Cool. This dagger is brutal. I love it. Alright. Magic darts takes down the phantom. Peg, peg, zap, zap. Any other shit that I don't need? I'm going to test quaff all of the potions. Degeneration. 
Restore abilities. Eh, I got those in the right order. Uh, ooh. Fire confuse. Confuse. Got him. Grab. Need to discard the nets. I'm not using the nets at all. My strength is probably inadequate to make good use of the nets. I don't particularly care for my enemy staying still for a couple turns half the time, since I tend to mephitic my enemies instead. So yeah, nets can go. Okay, let's score this down. Back up, give it room, give it more room, drop a fire. Don't want it to shift positions or dodge or go around my fire or do any such bullfuckery. Oh, you bastard, you cured. Okay, now we are calling all of the gnolls. It's perfect. Get a nice running space to work with and then back off. Uh, where's my poison? Stack a lot of poison on him. E I G E. Thank you. That is either a fake lair or the real lair. I know that sounds like a truism, but it's actually a serious consideration. Uh, if it's probably the real lair, but that entrance is so not ornate. I actually suspected a mimic just by looking at it, so we'll see. Uh, give me poison. If we're going to use confusion, we might as well also add poison. Oh crap, he's not confused. Not confused at all. That should do it. Boom. Insects are very susceptible to poisons in general, and the Goliath beetle is no exception. Oh, that's a lot of money! And a trove! And the trove needs gold dragon armor plus three. Yeah, that'll happen. In case you can't tell, I'm being Tarsactic. Ah, oh, I was really hoping for steam dragon armor. That stuff is actually pretty good early game. And mid game. And depending on your build, like, it, it's just good. It's just good. Do we have an ID scroll? Go for it. Life protection is not bad. And because I haven't ID'd it yet, enchant armor is now ID'd. I mean, I knew what it was, but now it's ID'd. For the love of God, I don't want to pick up anything. Drop the crap. Drop the crap. Uh, What other crap am I carrying? I'm carrying this quarter staff of chaos. That can go. Drop an extra ration. That can go. Two pots of invisibility. Trust me, if I get through the other four, I'm not going to be upset I missed one. Well, maybe it's not a mimic after all. That is, in fact, the real lair. Okay, we are in. We are into the lair. Launch confusion rays. Kill the one thing that can't be mephitic. Got him. Got him. That's a lot of them. Okay, now that we have a beachhead, drop things that I was saving to drop here. I uh, can't remember what they were, so no matter. If this buckler can stay. Okay, cool. Read scrolls. That was noise. So let's back off and see what what we have what fresh hell I've attracted onto my head today. Uh, boom. Okay, that's all of you guys. And we're just gonna drop that fresh scroll of enchant armor. But we have several enchant armor scrolls now in this dungeon. I want to say four. Ironically, if we did kill a gold, well, if we killed a gold dragon, never mind. Because then, how the hell did we do that? But if a gold dragon were to give me its hide, I could actually exit the 
I enter the torment the trove. And given that I'm playing a wizard and not one that has a crap ton of uh strength, I actually might just end up going that route and just entering the trove instead. Assuming I have nothing better to do with my I mean, if it doesn't cost me enchants, if I find a, a, a gold dragon armor plus three just lying around, or hell, if I find a plus one, I wouldn't mind throwing two scrolls at it. But four, one to turn a hide to an armor, and then three more to bring it up to spec? No, no thank you, I'm not doing it. Ah, shit, you are all going to die. No, no, yes. And yes, no, yes. All right, that's more kills. You guys are dying. Oh, the croc died. I was expecting the mouse to die, but the croc died. That was good. At this point, I think it's pretty clear that I can handle trash mobs very efficiently, even in large numbers. This ain't no drain tanking nonsense where I'm reliant on the strength of my arm and uh, hopeful that nobody can hit harder than I can hit back. That said, there has been an astonishingly low number of uniques this game. To wit, I don't actually remember the name of any unique I've encountered. Sigmund, Grinder, Herald... Uh, Jessica. I guess I, I I fought Yuf and Grum. Uh, Yuf gave me the cloak and uh, Grum gave me this whip. But otherwise, I don't remember anybody. All right, you know what? Fuck this next war. And that and that's uh, after a very significant quantity of dungeon clear. This isn't like I I I got an early early lair. I mean, ten is on the earlier side, I guess, but. Layers can be 11 deep or 12 deep, if I recall correctly, so this, this is not... Alright, spread the poison to all of you guys. Okay, now what? More int. There we go. Got my free strength up at last. One more of those and I'm home free. And I did say that if I don't get one by level 15, I'm going to have to use my one my uh, choose your buff on it. So I'm really glad I got that one. Still need one more, but hopefully that will be provided by the end game, so we'll be fine. And I don't mind ending the game on 10 strength. 10 inherent strength. Blah 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 Die, you goddamn bush! Kill the burning bush. Kill the burning bush. Kill the burning, kill the burning, kill the burning bush. Several armors found in the dungeon. None of them are enchanted. Which makes the plus two robe of MR actually the best thing I've got. Which makes the fact that I haven't switched back to it all the more silly, come to think of it. Okay, I'm at four Vehumet Piety. I am at the very least going to have to clear another couple floors uh, without a new book, unless I get lucky. So what we're going to do is turn on stabbing. Not going to bother with stealth or dodging, just stabbing. Uh, I can already render targets mephitic. Via mephitic, I can render targets vulnerable. Um, and while this doesn't give me a way to deal with hydras and the like, uh, this does give me a way to amplify my damage output significantly. What is here that I can't pick up? Okay, uh, I didn't mean to do that, but now that I have, what is my new wand? Slowing? Just ditch it. I don't care. Sedimented red potion is almost certainly going to be... 
blood. I'm not confident in my ability to take on Rupert in hand to hand combat. Correction. I'm not confident in my ability to survive with Rupert on the same screen as me. See what I mean? See what I mean? This is the shit that Rupert can do. And that was the least he could do. If instead of berserking, he had made me paralyzed with fear, I would be dead right now. So what we're going to do is remove curse and wear magic resistance. That way, Rupert cannot easily fear me. He can fear me, but it's going to take a MR check against a buffed up MR. Also, am I not wearing a piece of jewelry? No, okay, I'm wearing all the jewelry I have. Come on, die, bitches. Alright. We'll almost certainly find that all the energy I spent learning stabbing was total waste. Almost certainly. But in this case, it is decidedly that almost that makes me do it anyway. And there's a truth to be had in saying that training six levels of spell of, of stabbing right now, or training one or two levels of uh, spell casting or conjuration, about equal. Okay, so he not only managed to paralyze me, he promptly thereafter managed to confuse me. He's almost certainly back to full as well. Yep. You know what? We don't need to fight him. We really don't. We need to avoid him. We need to not die to him. We can come back later on when I have a tier 4 spell or 2 or... F fuck. Well, that worked out. I was actually prepared for having to blink again, but that worked out really nicely. This is not working out nearly as nicely. There's no way to force him to face me from his current position. And now that this guy's through the other side, we're just going to do one of these and one of these. Okay. Confusion. Blink. Confusion. I may have to heal wounds right now. I am playing it very, very close to the, the lethal point. After all, that was the wrong button. This is a heal wounds moment. Okay, what do I have that will hit all of them? Cold. Boom. Needed that. Boom. Needed that. Hope to God I don't need to heal wounds out of this, because that would suck. Okay, I made it. Vehumet, give me a new spell. Something that has a little more oomph to it than magic dart. What's beneath this? Staff of Death? I don't care. Not even going to bother picking it up. A, because I've already had one of those uh, without needing to break through a plant. B because, well, there isn't a B. Deal with it. Okay, so dropping fire clouds. You may approach me and burn at your leisure. Stabbing is going off now. Not because it's a bad idea to get my stab level higher, just because I'm not also going to train daggers up. Well, I am going to train daggers up. Not a lot, just a little bit. For the love of crap, seriously? Leave me alone, Rupert. I don't want to fight you. 
I just don't want to die to you. Is that too much to ask? Son of a bitch. Put exclusion on those. Oh! Shafted from 4 to 5. Into an electric eel tank. Which I have walked away from successfully. Magic mapping available? Good. Where are the exits? West. Okay. This could be a sky weapon. Let us figure out what we're dealing with here. Minus two, minus four with an evocable blink. I'll say go fuck yourself. No electric eels in this pool. Okay. Okay, you're not going to let me cut up the goddamn snake, and there is an eel in the other pool, so we're just going upstairs. We're just going upstairs. Mamba is actually terrifying enough that I don't want to face him. I'm willing to deal with this deeper floor if I can find another way. Where's the other stairs? One. This whole thing is a river, actually. There's one there. I'm not seeing another. The thing is, I don't have a cure potion. Oh, I do have a cure potion. I don't know when I picked it up, but I do have a cure potion. Okay. This opens an option or two. I would very much like to kill the electric eel before I proceed. Not so that the, not so that I get the credit for killing him so much as because him being dead makes this whole area about ten times safer. And we'll continue exploring westward. Just so there's no surprises. Oh, by the way, there were more enemies here. Deal with it. Kind of things. Uh, there's no winning against this snake. It's wide open here. I accidentally blinked across the river. Teleport initiate now. While I still have a few turns to prepare, uh, we're going to go bury ourselves in the corner. And hope to god that word bury doesn't become literal. We don't have anything we can do against the snake, so... Use up serious consumables, I guess, is the best way to go. Oh, we got it confused. Excellent. Not taking bets on how long that lasts. Just kill it. Um, I wonder if I'm going to actually be forced, because of the shaft, to dive another level deeper. Rather than deal with the threats this floor uh, offers. I'm a 50-50 shot that I blink the right way. Might as well take that shot a few times. Because clearing this river is going to take forever. That was in fact a potion of blood. I called it right about that red sedimented potion. You know what we need more than anything else right now is a bigger HP total. Taking a lot of damage every time I get hit. Ah, uh, shit. You, I have to kill. Mercifully, you don't uh, go underwater when you're confused. The rest of you kind of do. That's one kill. Several unknown statuses, and boom, we're through. Alright, uh, best way to deal with you is going to be Firewalk. No way to get you to go into it again, so cold and frost and blink and f oh, not into the fire and frost and frost. Okay, we got him. Double level up upstairs. There's that same mamba. I went for the stab and I got the stab, which is huge, actually. 
save me the consumables I really don't have any of. I don't have a recharge scroll. Otherwise I would totally use that on my one and only wand of cold, which cannot have that many shots left. Do I have an extra ID scroll? It might be worth my while to ID the cold just because I don't want to take my desperate final shot and then have a shot not go off. I'm only using it against serious enemies in a dire straits, uh, so neither of those are your friend when you're out of ammo. I knew I was going to get bit, but I figured I could just wait it out, and I did. Shit. Okay, he woke up. It occurred to me I should have stabbed him. That's why I left him alone. Ah, blink away, blink away! How am I gonna deal with this guy? I guess fire is an option. It's not going through fire? Excellent. If you don't go through fire, you cannot kill me. <sighs> Damn mimics. It's not that they mimic things that scares me. It's the fact that they can goddamn kill me that scares me. Alright, we're gonna trickle into fire damage now, because with the promise of new books soon enough, the flame spells I, d I crave can't be that far behind. Okay, giant pile of rats. Very confused. Still only four stars of piety? Come the fuck on. What do I have to do to impress you, Vehumet? Kill things in your name? Well, I've been doing that all... F okay, I had a very late temple. My temple was like floor six or seven, if I recall correctly, so that's probably why. It's taking even longer than usual for the gifts to come in. Though honestly, I kind of like that more than the new Vehumet system. With the new Vehumet system, you don't have any guarantee as to which spells you're going to get per se, but you are more or less guaranteed that the game isn't going to screw you over. It's going to give you spells that you would want. And it's the system has generally been good to me in that regard. Uh, on the flip, and the, the advantage, of course, is that you get them right away. Truth be told, I kind of liked this portion of the game where you are forced to make do with chewing gum. You don't have the stuff you need, but you can make the stuff... Or you don't have the stuff you want, but you can make the stuff you have work. Barely. And each time you look at that piety go up and you're like, oh, come on, nearly there, nearly there. Well, I hit five stars, so I'm very much nearly there right now. And that's the other thing, is that now I've paid my dues. Uh, I've had to fight off hydras with magic dart um, and conjure flame and fit a cloud. One of those spells actually is completely ineffective against hydras. I've had to take out black mambas with the same chewing gum. I've had to deal with swarms. I've had to deal with individuals. And now that I've dealt with all that, when uh, Vehumet drops that uh, book of power on me, dude, I'm going to be so ready for it. Conjuration 15, spellcasting 9. Bite me. Uh, here. How am I going to make the Black Mamba stand in a cloud of flame? Here. It either stands in the cloud or it doesn't hit me at all. Nope, don't walk in there yourself. There we go, got it. Seriously, killing a Black Mamba with those tools is kind of impressive to me. I mean, I know it's not impressive impressive. This is not a skill game in the sense of I managed to hit all the right buttons in the right sequence despite the difficulty of timing or windows or something. No, no. But in the sense of planning the strategy and doing it correctly and... Okay! This might be the last thing I have to actually survive before getting the books. And it's a doozy. We're going to attempt to confuse it. We succeed. Okay. And unfortunately for me, I thought I could go in for the stab. Now I can go in for the stab. 
Nope, it woke up again. Ah, and that was a bad time to blink. That was a very bad time to blink. Uh, let's... Melee confuse. Back off. And now we just need to shoot these things, so fireball. Just fireball it. Do it again, do it again. There, that's the kill I needed. Everything is confused, we're just walking out now. We're just walking out. Walk it out. Just walk it out. A side bonus of the fact that I chose a cold weapon. Uh, it slows down all the cold-blooded creatures on hit. Not that that's super effective against a creature that blinks instead of walks, but still. Okay. Now that we've thinned out the crowd quite a bit... Well, you know what? Just pull. If, if you're letting me pull you, I will pull you. I'm not so bold as to say I can take you all on at once. Are there other down staircases on the side of the river? No? Uh, I'm not seeing any other down staircases, period. I guess there's... Okay, they're on the other side of the river. Well, fuck that. Stay on the side of the river. Pull. You didn't pull. Pull. You double pulled. Hmm. Good. Very good. Okay, we are back in Bizniach. Uh, do not attempt to stab a Hydra. Just don't have what it takes. You're not a Spriggan, you won't reach it in time. If you do reach it in time but don't kill it, you'll lose the game. If you reach it in time, you still might lose the game. Yeah, just don't, don't take that. Uh, Fireball? Oh, that was out. Okay. Uh, drop a fire... To lock its path. Confuse, and now we're in trouble. It's coming at me. I need to do something ASAP. Cold. Cold got the kill. Killed that guy as well. I did my best to not use too many cold shots there, and I managed. I guess I... I could have used the Book of Summoning to get shadow creatures, which would have been enough for me to be surviving here a little bit more aggressively, without with a few consumable uses less. But that just seems like so much of an if and a side grade a side training at that to get to spellcasting. On a character who already has a limited EXP budget since no sol no improved aptitude whatsoever. I don't know, I, I didn't think it was a good idea. Besides, I do have the consumables. It's just a matter of actually using them well. Uh, I have a lot of potions I no longer care for, I guess. No? There we go. The real problem I'm having with weight is that I'm still carrying all of my projectiles, several of which I will never use again, several of which I might use again, but I won't actually end up using. So... One day I'll realize that and just get rid of all of them. That'll be a fun day. Okay, we got a frog. Got another one. Okay, next floor. We are on floor 7 of the lair. We are still using nothing but the wizard's starting book. Naturally, I am now facing death yaks. Unfortunately, those are well beyond the capacity of basic spells uh, to deal with. They are immune to mephitic cloud. They... Okay, actually, with good positioning, you can probably kill them with Conjure Flame. Speaking of which... There he is again. Let's try the third door. Oh, of course, you can just walk around me. You know what? For you, sir, I will poison the ever-loving shit out of you. And since you're an insect and susceptible to poison, well, you all saw what happened. Don't... Extend your arm further than your sleeve can reach. In other words, don't step away from the door. 
have a way out, if I have a way down, shout and then start running away. No, nothing came. Okay. Uh, so much rage. No. <sighs> Drop a series of foods. Uh, that's an upstairs case, very close to where we have one confirmed X batch of Death Yaks. Unfortunately, that's X as in we used to know they were there, not X as in they are no longer Death Yaks. Okay, some sheep may have died, some sheep may have lived, but bottom line is the herd is culled. That's a single death yak. I'm tagging him and bringing him into combat with me. We're going to deal with this asshole. This is a nice spot that he will have to walk through the fire in order to reach me. And he will. And now it's up to me to figure out what I can do to him. Confusion will not work, of course. He's standing in a fire. He is dead. Dodging would have been a very nice skill to have on hand, actually. Why did I open the pathway for him? That was dumb. Should have let him waste his turn attacking that. I don't mind putting myself in this corner, honestly. Because it guarantees there's only one place he can step to hit me, and that's into my range. Awk lobs of Zom will fuck themselves. You've seen me, you'll come after me. When you come after me, we will walk right over the dead corpse of your friend. And you can wonder if it's a coincidence. I assure you it is. I lie! It is not a coincidence. It is, in fact, plan. So, with nothing but the contents of my ass in the starting book, well, you guys have, well, maybe you haven't seen it, but I definitely have run a Spriggan with nothing but the starting book and picked up a rune. I'm going to heal wounds instead of stepping away. I should really step away now. But I'm going to heal wounds instead. I really want the kill. I really want the kill. If I can get that EXP up to the next level... We're in business. God damn it, what is it gonna take to impress you, god damn it? Vehumet, I need another book. Clearly you should be able to see that I can't manage with this shit. Actually what I'm showing him is the opposite. That I am actually in fact capable of handling a lot with just the basic book. Unfortunately, I'm not comfortable with this anymore. I'm debating going back to the main dungeon. Every encounter here is burning consumables, which is fine. They're meant to be burned, but I worry about what will happen in the encounter where I don't have any. If there were four elephants, I don't think I'd be able to do this. Oh, I didn't even notice the drake came into melee with me. Use that cold dagger for all your worth. Are you serious? All of you guys just lay the fuck off. I've got bigger fish to fry. Okay, I guess I just am gonna run away then. He is extending my range. That is nice. It's a very nice perk. Fire Drake is down. <sighs> Where there's one dog, there are bound to be more. Give it some space. There's the more. 
head off their other means of reaching me. You are just walking through fire? You're a wa water moccasin. You don't have that kind of health. Yeah, you die for it, you moron. I'm running away. There's a lot of enemies brewing. That was not an easy to hold choke point. No man ever lost the game by not standing up and fighting. Uh, I'm going to drop 15 darts. Clearly I don't use darts anymore. I'll keep a few of them on hand just so I have a projectile that doesn't require a weapon switch, but... Ah! Of all the fucking beastly luck, I teleport directly into my own goddamn fire cloud. Oh, that's painful. Still, with all that, uh... And I lost a blinking scroll nonetheless. Gormond is a nice buff. Ring of Fire is potentially useful long term. Uh, actually, hell, let's go Gormond right now. Um, and as for the Ring of Fire, as long as I can be sure that I pay attention and don't accidentally keep it on when I'm at minus cold. No, never mind. Plus two of painful death into minus four. Nope. No, thank you. In minus four with no obvious uh, must-have benefits, absolutely not going to do. Lots of stuff picked up, including rations and buffs. Boom, 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 boom. Black Mamba. I'm not even scared of you guys anymore. Here. What are you going to do? Unfortunately... That is layer 7 complete, and I still don't have the necessary equips to advance my technique. I do have Curari, so I can now handle a few more foes with consumables. Alright, that's that. Scroll of Recharging. Excellent. Use it on my Wand of Cold. Now I have ten charges of cold. Now, as long as I don't face an Ice Dragon, I should be okay. And if I face an Ice Dragon, that's what the Teleport Scrolls are for. Literally using every little thing I'm given as much as I can buy myself those little advantages that add up. That looks like a Spriggan Forest or an Elephant Forest. I can't tell which. Sorry, a Elephant Forest. Can't tell which. Doesn't really matter either way because I'm just staying on the outskirts and poking things. My mana efficiency is far too low to do it. Mana efficiency! That's a good point. Turn off fighting, turn on spellcasting to continue building up more mana. I am a technically at a 10% mana loss due to my mutation status. I'm not really worried about it though, because I can fix that later if I really want to. And 27 mana has obviously been quite, quite useful in and of itself. It's not like I have a low mana total right now. But for these protracted fights, I could have 40 mana and it wouldn't feel like quite enough. Not when my every other move has to be casting a spell, and I don't kill things quickly, so my Vehumet bonuses don't really add up nearly as fast. Oh, wow. I forgot, but yeah, I am wearing Gormond, so <laughs> there goes my hunger. I just ate all of the chunks that I had carved up. Alrighty, we're gonna draw you into personal combat here. And of course you go around the long way. Five stars of piety, come on! Hurry the fuck up! A none too deep lair, sure, but a eternity for how late the temple was. Yeah. 
I'm actually in the midst of clearing floor 8 again with nothing but the contents of my ass. That's kind of impressive. It is why I love wizards so much. Can you imagine if I had been playing a non-wizard and uh, how much I normally bitch about not having a good spell repertoire? Well, I would have had no means to deal with AoE. Uh, no, uh, not AoE. Swarms of enemies. God damn it! You went underneath both my... Oh, well, fuck you. You can come back through them, too. Fuck you very much, sir. Uh, sick is bad. There we go. Back off. That's a kill. <laughs> the firewalk killed him. Excellent. I just stabbed that thing to death as it was confused already. And wouldn't you know it? Despite all my protestations to the contrary, it appears I am, in fact, walking into the forest. With no buffs, no new spells, nothing going for me. Uh, lit the entire forest on fire, though, that's gotta help. Step closer and start burning down trees. Willy nilly. See if we can't stab that bear. We did. Stabbed it once. Not lethal, but there! That was a follow-up stab, and it was lethal. Freaking Spriggans with their high MR, and their high dodge, and their high... Oh, did you try and attack me while I'm a Spriggan? At least, at least, when you do finally... I don't know if any of you have seen uh, Sin City, but... Remember that scene where there's the guy at the end who's jumping around, and Marv is like, Oh, that's right, get it, per let it get personal, get close. Oh, now how do you... And then he dives in there, he whaps Marv in the face, Marv continues mocking him, and then... Marv manages to handcuff himself to the little guy. He's like, alright, you, why, uh, why don't you try to jump away now, you pussy little bitch? Or words to that effect. And then he spits blood in his face. And that's the beginning of the guy getting his ass handed to him. That's how I feel about Spriggans. They hopsy skipsy and avoid and avoid and avoid. It's like, alright, I got you now. Why don't you try and jump away, you son of a bitch? Boom! And they fucked. Light the forest on fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. But why would you want to? Satan will be very angry. Am I still wearing a sustenance ring? What the hell am I wearing a sustenance ring for? Gourmand plus sustenance equals waste of fucking time. It's walking straight into it. You'd have to be a retard to do what you're doing, and you're doing it. Well, I guess you're a retard, so that makes sense. Let me shoot you and take this off of ya. It is cursed. Motherfucker. Uh, this is not a bad time, actually. Do I have anything else that's cursed? No, I literally am just wielding one cursed item. Well, unfortunately, it's a bad one, so we'll drop it. Fortunately, I have since accrued enough cursed scrolls, removed cursed scrolls, that that is no longer a frightening status. I 
think we got the Spriggan Druid. Fairly sure we got the Spriggan Druid. Fairly sure that... Honestly, I don't recall the last time I used Burning the Forest as a legit tactic, simply because I'm generally more powerful than this at this point of the game. But Burning the Forest is a ridiculously legit tactic right now. Ah, shit. Keep the confused gas up, guys. Don't want to actually engage. Drop fire. Blink. Stab. This is a bad situation no matter how I slice it. I'm going to teleport out of this before things get really dicey. The teleport, of course, took me a blink distance away, but it was good enough. Shout a couple times, funnel them towards me. Okay, Elven Boots. It's technically a minus one, which is not good enough to justify using Elven. Staff of Conjuration is a nice staff. It'll amplify all of my Conjurations, which are already doing amplified damage. This is solid stuff. Here, come at me, bro. That was not the right tree, but it totally is going to work anyway. E I P Q. Should be able to switch one handed, thank you. Generally speaking, I'm going to waltz around with conjuration damage upgraded, but then switch to dagger when I actually need to deal damage damage. Not the right direction, not the right target. Utilizing that bonus stab damage to seriously fuck these guys up. Although, I might as well just, yeah, peg them one way or the other. You know, given that this dagger was cursed when I first found it, it occurs to me it might actually be a really pathetic dagger. It might be like a minus four, minus four. And then I pumped it with Enchant Scroll so much that it, even if it's just a 1-1 a one, one now, can you imagine how bad it started off as? Or it could be one of those cursed daggers that's good, it's just cursed. Chihuahua. 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 Oh, Chihuahua. Uh, we're just gonna drop a fire again. Come on. There you go. Carefully avoiding things that are gonna light my scrolls up. Unholy creation. Scroll of summoning is cooler. I've never used it func effectively, but it is a cooler idea. The range of characters that can actually make use of a low-level abomination is so narrow, and even they aren't very good characters, so, yeah. Compare that to it being basically shadow creatures, the, the scroll. Ah, uh, why are you not getting confused? That's better. Stab things. Stab. Shoot! Ha! Shoot! Ha! Uh, there's massive confuse again. That's a kill. That's a kill. I think I did it. Cleared floor eight, and somehow, Vehumet had still saw, not seen fit to gift me a book. Nor has the RNG given me a book. Uh, Swamp is a viable option, but frankly, without poison resistance, it's going to be such an uphill climb, it's not worth it. 
Uh, main dungeon is probably the next best place to to go for low hanging fruit. Okay, we're back in the main dungeon, and I think this is as good a time to stop as any. I hope you enjoyed watching this so far. I'll continue with Bob the Destroyer instead of Bob the Builder. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.